you might be the proud new owner of the Sony a7 IV and you're loving those 33 megapixel photos that it's pumping out, but you might have some questions about which RAW format to choose. Well, I'm going to save you some time and tell you I think you should choose lossless compressed. Now let's talk about why that is. You might know there are three options, uncompressed, lossless compressed, and compressed. So there are really three things to consider when you're trying to choose one of those, and let's talk about those. One of them is actual physical file size of each photo. The second is the frame rate at which you can capture photos in high speed shooting modes. And the third is physical image quality, actual image quality. Um, number one, file size, uncompressed, 70 megabytes. Lossless compressed, 35 to 40. Compressed, 35. It's pretty straightforward. It's interesting that lossless compressed falls right in the middle and is almost the same size as the compressed. That's one of the reasons I recommend it. Also, you need to think about the fact that every SD card in your camera will be able to hold more photos on a shooting day if you shoot lossless or compressed. And I think that the lossless seems to be a really great comp compromise for all of that. The second thing to think about is high speed shooting rates. If you want that 10 frames per second that this camera advertises, you're going to have to shoot compressed. That's the only way you're going to get it. If you shoot lossless or uncompressed, it seems to be somewhere around five to six, sort of depending. I think that's adequate unless you're shooting sports. And if so, then hey, jump on that compressed band bandwagon and go for it. I think you'll still be more than happy with what you get out of the camera. If you need something faster than 10, then this is not the camera for you, obviously. The third thing is image quality. So let's talk about one thing and get it out of the way right now is regardless of these three things you choose, this, the pictures are exactly the same physical size and dimensions. They're all 33 megapixel. That part doesn't change depending on what you choose. The other thing is, is I find that the same colors and sharpness tend to be there on most everything I've tested. I can't tell any real difference as far as color goes. Now, we could argue that this next option really is affecting color. So um, where do you see the real advantage then of uncompressed? Well, if you're heavily underexposed has been my experience. If you go more than three to three and a half stops underexposed, you're gonna to start to lose detail in the, law, the compressed version. I couldn't even really tell that much difference between the lossless compressed and uncompressed. I still found most things recoverable um, from a photo perspective, regardless of those two that we choose. I, I tend to think that that's why lossless compress is the way to go. Also, I would say that, you know, we're shooting in the mirrorless world, and so it's really what you see is kind of what you get through the viewfinders and on the screen, and it seems as though that we just don't have as many problems, or I don't experience as many problems with photos that are heavily underexposed, and if it is, Maybe you want to work on your camera skills a little bit more, but that's why I think that overall lossless compressed is really the best option to choose. I think that unless you need high speed shooting, uh, and if you do go with compressed, but otherwise lossless compressed is that perfect compromise of good image quality, good recoverability of the, of the photos, good storage space use. So that would be my choice. Certainly compressed is what we shoot on the A7R4s that we use uh, and that seems to work great, but we don't have tremendous number of reasons to have heavily underexposed. Not that accidents can't happen, we know that does, but I think that in today's world, if you've taken a lot of photos, you're probably not gonna have any worries. So go ahead and choose that lossless compress and enjoy that extra space you get. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. Love to hear what your experience has been with the different formats, or if you have questions, feel free to drop a comment below, subscribe, follow along, more to come. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.